Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully tested the child component that home that exactly the same number of child components will should be created with the post along with the post length. So how much of post length is there? That many post components only we need to be created. Now in this video, what we'll try to do is so okay fine. So we have created the post exactly the child components are creating exactly fine. So we need to also test that the post ex exactly sending to this child component or not. So we need to check that the post whatever the post it is sending to the child component, the child component is receiving that exact post or not. We need to test it. So let's try to see here. So the same thing. So here we need to write it should check whether whether the exact post is sending to the post component right now here i will be writing something like this same thing so here i will be having mock post service and i need to call the fixture dot detect changes so i'll be calling the same thing so now what we need to do so here i need to call constant we need to get the post component d is post component D is means debug elements. So I am writing with I am writing the shorthand notation as D is. Now here fixture dot debug element. So we need to use the debug element dot. We need to query all. So we need to get all the components. So here we need to use the by dot directive. So we are testing the child component, right? So post component. So that's it. So we got the post component. So here what we have got, we have got all the post component debug elements. So these are all, these are all debug elements. Now, if you want to know, if you want to get the details of the child component means, so what you can do is, so here we are having all the child components. So that means here we are having the posts of length three. That means we are having three posts. That means we are having three child components. So first let's take this post component D is of zero the first child component i am taking and what i need to do so if you want to check that whether the post has been sent the correct post has been sent or not means we need to check that whether this input post has the value of the first post means it is fine right so that means the post has been sent to the child component and child component has successfully received that particular post now what i can do here in order to catch this post post variable that means post property from the parent component so first I need to get the instance of the component instance of the child component. So how can I get through the debug element of zero means the first child component. I have taken the first child component in this first child component. If you want to get the component instance of the child component, what you need to do is you need to write component instance. So now you have got the component instance. So let's try to have it here post component instance or something like this. Okay. So now this one is of type post component so you can write as post component okay so that's it so i am <coughs> type casting that one so here we got the post component instance now what i need to do is expect okay the post component instance sorry post component instance dot post dot title it should be equal to so it should be equal to so this is this what is the debug element i have took so the, the debug element i have took is the first debug element so first child component so that means the first child component we need to check that the first post has to be passed to this first child component i need to check with the title and the component instance title so that the two th the two titles has to match so here i can write something like post post of zero dot title so i will try to write posts of zero dot title now if you try to test it here see the test has been successful be successfully passed so it is it is it is telling that should check whether exact post is sending to the post component or not so it is exactly matching here now we i have checked for the only first component only so i need to check for other components whatever the child components that are going to be created of with the post so we need to check that all the posts all the particular post is passing to that particular child component or not so we need if you want to test like that means what we can do so now we can loop over the 
post component d is so here i will loop over something like for let i is equal to 0 i less than post component d is dot length and i will do i plus plus okay so where is this one gone where i have written yeah here and this one for loop and i can have this one something like let post component instance is equal like this instead of having zero i can keep the i so now i am getting the post component instance each time and now i can check it with something like here post component instance dot post dot title should be equal to posts of i dot title so it should equal the it should match with the particular post now i am checking whatever the child components that are going to be created here so whatever the child components that are going to be created so those all the child components i am testing that the exact post is getting passed or not so now if i try to see the output see again it has been passed so this is how we will be checking the child component from the parent component so what is the thing we have written so we have written the two tests for check for checking this child component so first test is we are checking that exactly the same number of child components has been created or not we are trying to check the how many posts are having we are having so those many post comp those many child components need to be created so we have tested that one and we got it successfully passed so it is not creating one less than or one more component like that it is creating exactly how many posts you are having that many components it is creating so that one is passed now and also another one what i am trying to check is and also i am checking that the post so the post components whatever the child components that are created here the app post component and we need to check that the post is getting passed to the child component or not so the exactly the post comp the, uh, the post is sending back to the sending to the child component or not and also how we can check that one we need to go into this child component that means post.component.ts and here we need to check with the input property that is post property and we need to check that this post has to be matched with the post data whatever whatever we are trying to whatever we are trying to test it here the post data this post has to match with the child component post for that reason what we have did here so here we, we took the debug element and for that debug element so through the debug element so through each debug element we are getting the component instance so we can get the component instance of the child component also from the debug element so through the debug element i am getting the component instance so i am checking that component instance so if we get the component instance child component instance automatically we can get all the properties and methods that are available in that component so for that reason i am getting the post this post is nothing but here this property and i am checking that that title should match with the exact the post whatever the post we are trying to send it so that post has to match the title has to match it so this is how i am checking this one so this is how we will be testing the child components from the parent components this is nothing but a deep integration test hope you understood about this one so the uh, how to get this component instance so here in this video we have we have learned how to get the child component instance from the parent component so this is how we will be doing this one hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and also if you like if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you